role uh, in the future? Prime Minister Putin. That's going to be a very significant political role. Thank you so much, Mr. Flagenhauer. That's Pavel Flagenhauer, a defense analyst, uh, talking to us from Moscow. And this is the military parade for the 66th uh, Victory Day against the Nazi Germany. And now the military hardware is on show right now. Tanks are rolling in front of the Red Square under the review of President Dmitry Medvedev. Uh, these are supposed to be the latest uh, war toys of Russia. Okay. Last hike up, passing by the high mobility vehicle, the second one should be the BTR-80, the uh, armored uh, personnel carrier. Mm -hmm. So the two actually are quite common in, in the Russian military now. Mm -hmm. And the first one, they say this is a Russian equivalent hammer. And the second one is uh, a carrier for, it has a crew of three and they carry a squad of seven troops. And then this is T, I, I think this should be T, uh, T90. T90 the tank, tanks. Yes, the T90 tanks. So the T90 is the third generation main battle tank in Russia. And uh, we see that it is designed and built and uh, early in the 1970s. And so it has been serviced more than 30 years mm -hmm. in Russia. Uh, it, according to some report, it is only a repaint of the previous 30, 30s version. <laughs> Uh, but we know that's among new moderation uh, upgrades. And this, I cannot say clearly, uh, according to the... Uh, um, Is it kind of a, a yes, missile defense? Yes, th this should be the uh, um, M2, the Buck M2, air defense, missile defense system. Mm. Yeah. And this longer one should be uh, uh, the smudge, they call the tornado, the multi-rocket uh, launcher. This should, should be the, uh, the tornado, a uh, multi-rocket launcher uh, that is capable of carrying four rockets. Mm -hmm. And it is on a mobile platform. Mm -hmm. uh, this is self-propelled, wheeled one. And uh, this should be the uh, maybe S-40, S-40 uh, air defense system. S-40 air defense system mm -hmm. against the missile attacks. Yes, this is quite uh, per, a mature one, and because we know China has also Bought. purchased mm. some of the systems. Is it the Topo M? Uh, I think Topo M should be the last one. Should be the last yes. one. Yes. Some of them are the uh, support vehicles and uh, the launchers, and also maybe uh, the refueling, refueling vehicles. So it passed quite quickly. Mm. <laughs> Actually, uh, they said that there has been watered down uh, a version of last year's military parade because uh, last year they saw a lot of military aircraft flying past the Red Square. This time there's no more, just helicopters flying past. Uh, just uh, maybe five uh, M8, MI, uh, yes, MI8 helicopters, the uh, transport and attack helicopters. I think the uh, Topo M just passed by. <laughs> so Topo M just passed by? You missed that? <laughs> Because, because Top OM is supposed to be the, uh, the biggest um, uh, strategic uh, nuclear uh, deterrent the, power. It should be the uh, Trump card in the, the, Trump card. Uh, the, Russian, the Russian arsenal. Uh, this should be the uh, Penske S-1 combined anti-air defense system and also the anti-aircraft artillery. Mm -hmm. It is quite unique because it combines the two systems in one vehicle but it is quite helpful and it is used to uh, guard against, to defend, not only for, for the air defense of some area and, uh, and also it can uh, for the defense of some higher ranking uh, system like the S-40, mm -hmm. uh, S-400, sorry. And uh, this might be the uh, Iskander. Iskander. Uh, yes, Iskander. Also, the uh, missile system. I think, uh, according to the shape of this vehicle, it should be some command and control vehicle with the uh, radar systems. Because we know that 